at the risk of making this video any longer than it already is, I want to say happy Father's Day to you guys, and uh, I hope you're having a good weekend. I made this video just for you guys. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a long video, but some of you guys out there like the long videos, and this one is very interesting. I think it has the results are very interesting. I think you'll like that a lot. So please, uh, try to watch the whole video. You don't have to watch it all at one time, but try to watch the whole video, and uh, I hope you enjoy. And thank you for clicking on this video to watch in the first place. See you soon, guys. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, today's uh, 31 degrees centigrade for high. Very hot and sunny today. And uh, we got rain coming up again, uh, to starting tomorrow, because we're in rainy season, but today is really hot. And I've got those new air mattresses. I'd like to try them out. And so we're gonna do a little camping trip today, getting ready for the big event, uh, where I'm gonna do probably seven to 10 day uh, daily vlog of a big trip going to Hiroshima this summer coming soon in this car <laughs> can it do it that's a long trip I haven't worked out the miles yet but that's a long trip and uh, that's why I'm gonna take a lot of days and just do camping inside the car try to do as low budget as possible today I only have 5,000 it's worth it's about 50 bucks for the whole weekend today Saturday come home Sunday night and uh, just me and my daughter because my wife has to work but uh, we're gonna try out and see uh, See how it goes. See if I can do pretty good mileage. Uh, I'll show you. The, I'll show you the, all the stats when I get inside the, the van a little later. Uh, but right now, I can tell you, the battery temperature just sitting out here in the sun is already at half temp. So yeah, let's see if we can do this. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a great experiment, and also it gives me a chance to really try things out, get ready for this big trip coming up this summer. <clears throat> all right, let's take a look at here. So what you can see here is. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Kind of a half-ass job <laughs> loading up. Uh, I've got a microwave oven. I've got my backpacks, computer, two chairs, pillow, little table for inside, and then all my other gear. Like uh, I have an I IH cooker, flatware, dinnerware, chopsticks, uh, cookingware, uh, and uh, power cords and things like that to hook up to the inverter. All right, and then for the interior. We're doing it this way. We're going to do a limo style. They call this the limousine style, where you fold up the middle seats and you have tons of room. Because these seats are actually much more comfortable anyways. They're wider, they're softer, and they recline much further. Um, right now you can't recline, sorry babe. But they usually recline much further. So, But lots of leg room. Lots of leg room. Oh, okay, it's a hot one. Showing uh, 29 degrees centigrade already. Charge it to 79%. Um, showing 110 kilometers on the gasometer. 104 like that. Well, now 109. <laughs> okay. Um, see, the battery temp is right at the halfway point because it's just so hot today. Um, let's see, I already zeroed everything out. Yeah, I zeroed everything out. <laughs> Nothing to look at. I gotta pick up some cold drinks for the trip and uh, snacks. And uh, then we will definitely be on the way. I'll put the dash can up and so I can talk a little bit there. Um, I'll, I'll also put dash cam, I'll turn dash cam around so you guys can see some of the view. Um, it'll be interesting to see at 79% how far I can go before I have to charge again. I might just have to use the air conditioning. It is wicked hot today. We'll find out. See you again soon, guys. Bye. Hopefully they have refrigerated drinks here. This is a discount store. Hopefully they have refrigerated drinks. Let's take a look. They have Melio here? Rizoko? That's all. All right, grab a couple of those. We'll use those. Mugicha aru? Mugicha. Nine there. All right. Auto futatsu. No teas. I'm looking for some teas. Uh, well, my daughter said she saw mellow yellow. I like mellow yellow. Doko, doko. Alright. Oh. 
まもなく右方向銀座方面です。Traffic's bad. Having a very bad day today. Forgot my sunglasses. Don't have a cooler. My ice is melting fast. Nothing's working out. Nothing's working out. My GoPro Hero 3 died. The heat must have killed it.、Uh, and、uh, this GoPro's acting up as well. I've made a couple recordings and it didn't. It's not working. I don't know if the heat or what. My phone is acting up. The Wi Fi is not working.、Uh, it's 30 degrees. I'm trying to stay in the slow lane here. Traffic is, of course, bad because we left late. I spent an hour fighting with the GoPro Hero 3 and my navigation system trying to set up the trip. An hour, I lost an hour. I had to reset everything on my car. I ended up. I ended up leaving an hour late with only, what was it, 76% showing when we left, with only 1.6 kilometers covered, one mile roughly covered when I left.、Um, I did get it up. It's looking pretty good now on the range. If you look at showing at、uh, 54%, 88 kilometers of range. I've already traveled 36. Doing the math, that's pretty good. Considering I left at 76%. So, not bad so far. I'll keep you posted. All right, I'm in Shibuya now, heading towards the Tomei Expressway. Actually, right there on the left, that on the left is Mori, Mori Tower. That's a Roppongi area. Shibuya will be on the right, actually. I'm trying to hold it at 60 kilometers an hour. That's the speed limit. And、uh, yeah, showing 50%. I didn't want to use the highway. I, I was having so much trouble setting it up that I set it up. I didn't set it up for a highway, but I set the Navi up wrong somehow. It was going like a really weird way of going. I didn't like that. So I got on the highway just to try to reset it, and that didn't work. So, anyways, it's, it's a good thing in a way. I, was, I lost so much time trying to set up the stupid.、Uh, Navi and work with you know fighting with the GoPro earlier. I lost a lot of time, I'm gaining time back. And I know a, there's a good charger at a big there's a big service area on Tomei. I can charge up there, and then after, shortly after that, I can get back off the highway and go the back roads again. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to highway speed. So, like right now, I'm going I, I, about 63, 62, 63, something like that. Heading about 63 kilometers an hour through the Ginza area. And、uh, yeah, less lights.、Uh, let's see what's, what's going on here. Battery temp still at half.、Uh, it's hard to do. I'm only showing、uh, 14% for regenerative、uh, power. You know, power electricity I've generated from regenerative braking at 14%. That's not good. Showing about 8.8 kilometers per kilowatt hour. That's actually not bad for this car.、Um, doing the best I can. And、uh, yeah, 49% now showing. We're just heading into Shibuya now. Not much to see really when you're on the highway. Oh gosh, wasn't paying attention. I jumped the speed up quite a bit. I'm just gonna use the, the motor to、uh, slow down. There we go. And,、uh, yeah. Tomei! That's where we w a n t to go. Tomei Expressway.、Uh, yeah. I'll、uh, talk more later, guys. Bye bye. Update time. I guess I'm not going to Tomei Expressway after all.、Uh, the Navi had me get off at Shibuya exit. And we're just gonna take, I think it's Highway 1 we're on right now. We're gonna just take one for quite a while. Right through,、uh, we're gonna go right through、uh, Yokohama taking this highway, I think.、Uh, I think that's the plan. 
Not sure yet, we'll find out, but I this does look, oh, we're on 246 right now. This is 246. And stuck behind a bus. Unbelievable. All right, so yeah, we're doing the back roads after all, off the highway. So I don't know where I'm gonna charge up next. We'll find out, see you soon. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. What she wants me to do is she wants me to get back on the highway. I, get, I think I figured out what she wanted me to do. You see that traffic line? The navigation had me bypass the traffic. It wasn't that bad traffic. Ouch. What a stupid detour. Anyways, now I gotta go back on the highway soon. So, see you again soon. Back on the highway. Back again. Uh, showing 5.3 kilometers till the next, until I can charge. Showing uh, 59 kilometers available on the gasometer. And I've traveled 63 kilometers. If I do that, it's 62 kilometers available at 63. So 125. 125 total possible on a 79% charge. Not bad. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, this is working out the way I wanted it to. My, I, I, just, I need sunglasses so bad. I'm blind. It's like driving with snow blindness. My eyes are killing me. Uh, hopefully I can find something when I get there. Believe it or not, I have been using air conditioning for a little while. I used it for about, mm, maybe about 12 to 15 kilometers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, traffic coming up. For about uh, 12, 15 kilometers, I had um, I had uh, the air conditioning going. It was when I was trying to talk to you guys earlier. It was so noisy, all the trucks and stuff. Not like the wind. <laughs> Anyways. It didn't work out. It, for some reason, the camera went to time-lapse mode. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but anyways, almost to the charge point. I'll give you the number, better number detail when Five I get there. has quit on me now. It won't turn on. Overheat it, I guess. It is uh, 33 degrees in the car. You can see that. 30, 33 degrees. Showing 34% battery. Only going 22, roughly 20 kilometers an hour on this highway. 55 still showing on the gasometer. Traffic is really bad. And I was wrong about the rest stop. The rest stop I want to go to is still about 15 kilometers away. Talk more later, guys. Coming up on Abina. Rest area, service area. Ugh. I'm having a hard time. It's supposed to be 80 here. Try and take it easy. I don't want my battery to go below 20%. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's already low enough. I don't really want it to go below 30% uh, because uh, I want it. This battery is very similar to the new lease battery. Uh, lower you are on percentage, the hotter it gets quicker uh, charging because the charge is gonna go full blast on me. Oh, brake lights up ahead. Dang. First luck of the day. There was actually an open spot for my charger. All right, let's do this. 43 kilometers available. Uh, traveled 85 kilometers roughly, showing 25% on the battery. Um, what is that? Wow, 120, almost 130 kilometers uh, on a 79% charge. So what does that mean? What am I doing on the rest of my stats? Still only 16% of uh, power came from regenerative braking. Oh, 9.1 kilometers per kilowatt hour. On the, and that's uh, going on these highway speeds. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll, I'll give the van top honors on that. Good job. And so now I'm gonna plug in, and as you can see earlier, battery temp is at half halfway point. It's gonna be just to see how that turns out in uh, about 15 minutes when it's charged up. <laughs> See you again soon, guys. Bye. Only in Japan would a service area be this, this crowded. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, the lens is filthy. 
Is, can you see me now? <laughs> it stinks in here. Just want something cheap. Don't want to spend a lot of money. I was hoping a convenience store would be in here somewhere. We can keep looking. I can't even walk in here. People just keep blocking me. I, they don't have a convenience store. They have a high-end, high-priced, not high-end, but a high-priced spot here. Sunglasses. Maybe something I can wear. I'm dying. All oh, the styles are so hideous. Well, nope. Nothing I like. <laughs> yeah, these aren't great prices at all. Are you kidding me? $3.40 for this little teeny sandwich. Look at that thing. Look how small it is. Ridiculous. Prices here are ridiculous. They take the piss out of you here, that's for sure. Nothing. All right, all charged up, it looks like. Uh, that took uh, 20 minutes, roughly, to charge up. Let's take a look. Yeah, 80%. Showing 133 kilometers available at 80%. Let's switch over to, let's see, let's, let's uh, zero out this one so we can see how well we do this next time compared to, let's see. So we went about 85 kilometers on the last charge. Let's see what we can do with this charge. Um, battery temp, actually not bad, only one bar up considering it's 32 degrees centigrade. It's wicked hot. All my GoPros are dead. I put the other one, the little Session 5, I put my cooler bag next to the ice. I hope that'll fix the problem with that. It's totally dead. It won't turn on. It's almost too hot to hold. <clears throat> um, what should I do? I think I should reset some of this stuff. Let's see. I'm going to reset this one. And this one, obviously. Start over again. I'll leave that alone and that one alone, I guess. Okay. We are ready to get going. I'm going to button up the bus and, or button up the van and uh, we'll get going. All right. I have no way of seeing what this camera sees, so I don't know if I got the angle at the right angle. Hope you guys can see see me okay. See my daughter okay. Wave, Julia. Yeah. Goodness gracious, it's crazy here. I have a Porsche in front of me. He's looking all over the place for a parking spot. Idiot. I just want to go. I just want to go. Back on the road. Heading out. Let's do this. Where is that? Are you a dog call? You're my night. Not this way. Shizuoka. 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 No, no, yeah. Oh. Is, is, no lever. Hmm? Even is, 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 is,
こう引っ張って引っ張ってこれいや、なんかレバーレバー椅子のレバー椅子のレバー There you go OK There you go はい、let's go さあ友達友達ですみんな同じところいや、違うところですはい、どうぞどうぞありがとうございますありがとう Alright, guys, total, a little bit, bit of a change of plans.、Uh, we're going to Shizuoka first. <laughs> <laughs> Picked up a hitchhiker at the last rest stop. It's really hot. I didn't want to leave him outside. It's just too hot for that. That's easy. That's easy. Yeah, he's from Osaka. This guy's from Osaka. And、uh, I, I can get him as far as Shizuoka. It's a little bit of a detour for me, but what the hell, right? What the hell? It's all part of the fun. So I'll be getting to Ito a little later, but that's cool. It's too hot to do anything right now, anyways. Alright, talk more later. A slight detour, but、uh, I just, it was, it's wicked hot today. 32 degrees. It was 30, we're up high now in the mountains, so it's cooler now. But where we were at, it was 32 degrees outside. He looked like he was cooking. So I thought I'd throw him a bone. So I have a, I've lost about an hour on, I'm about an hour out of my way, but no big deal. Not a big deal when you, you get free, free、uh, electricity, you know, free juice. So let's see what the battery temp is. It's holding steady at the same spot it was when I last left. And、uh, I was only able to go 49 kilometers this time on about the same amount of juice. You'll see that it's dropped quite a bit. My kilometers per kilowatt hour dropped quite a bit because he was hot. So I.、Um, I let him,、uh, you, oh, we used air conditioning the whole time in the car, the whole, whole way over here. We only traveled 50 kilometers almost and、uh, used、uh, pretty much all the juice to get here. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. So I'm gonna, plug, I'm gonna plug in now and let's、uh, charge up again and see what the temperature's at next time. It's next time. All right, see you soon. That's a full 50, watt kilowatt, full, full 50 kilowatt charger there. So it'll be charged up in no time. See you soon. All right, almost done with the charge. Oh, it finished, just finished. We're at 80%. Okay. Battery temp is now pretty hot. <laughs> now it's pretty hot. Because it charged fast on this charger. This one's much quicker than the last one. All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Well, the range isn't looking too good right now. Showing only 91 kilometers on, in eco mode on an 80% charge. That's because I used the air conditioning like crazy in my,、uh, my last drive.、Uh, we're not on the highway yet. As soon as we get on the highway, I think it's like 60 kilometers to my next destination, though. Without the air conditioning, I should be able to make it. Fujisan's right in front of us. Can it come out? Can you see it behind the clouds?、Um, <laughs> Anyways, time to get going, guys. Let's get back on it. All right, we're on the highway.、It、says I have 56 kilometers to go, and it's gonna have me get off of this next exit in 500 meters. I have to get off. And I think from now on, we will not be using the highway anymore. That's good. Because <laughs> my wife would kill me if I was using more tolls. Deguchi. I think I'm getting off the highway. Central Gotemba. Mount Fuji somewhere around here, hiding in the clouds. I, there's a college boy. That was a college boy I picked up. He 
He's, uh, he goes to college in Tokyo, but his home is in Osaka. He gets a three-day holiday, so he's... Okay. He gets a three-day holiday, so he's heading home to Osaka. He doesn't have any money, so he's hitchhiking. And so I did him a favor. Didn't get him far, but helped a little bit, I suppose. Okay. Got it. Bucks. My wife's gonna kill me on that one because that's 20 bucks plus the. I, I think I spent like 30 some dollars on highway fees. I wasn't supposed to spend it all. Yeah. What do you end up? What do you end up? Okay, we're on the free streets now, so that's cool. I'm gonna turn right again. The outlet area. <laughs> this is where the premium outlets are. Oh. <laughs> Explains why all the traffic. I was like, this is such a small little town. Why is so much traffic? This is where the outlet, the huge outlet mall is. Between Tokyo and Osaka. I know. Parking attendants is screaming. So you can hear the noise in the background. Just chill and have a good time. Right, Julia? It's finally cooled down. It's 27 degrees with nice overcast. We're not getting cooked by the sun anymore, right? Feels good up here. Once we get down to sea level again, it'll be hot again, probably. Look at that. <sighs> so I'm going to go straight for 1.6 kilometers and then turn left, looks like. Okay. So Good deal. 54 kilometers left to go. It'll be 4.30 in the afternoon roughly when I get there. And I am showing 76% charge right now. And I've traveled on 3%, about 3.8 kilometers. So I'm doing pretty good. That is pretty good. So no problems. We're going to be okay. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get that battery temp down at least one bar by the time I get to, by the time I get to um, Ito. I want to get the battery level down at least one bar. I'm at three quarters of temp right now. Let's see if I can get that down because I need to practice working on this stuff. Uh, so far I've done two quick charges today and I've got the battery temp to three, quarter, three, uh, three quarters. Uh, and it's, it's three degrees earlier. Right now we're at 27. But we're, last time I charged it was 30. Well actually last time I charged 27 wasn't it? Let's see what we can do. Look at all these chargers. And that's just in the, within a, about 500 meters of each other. This is Shizuoka. For some reason, Shizuoka is just filled with chargers everywhere. Every convenience store, that's a, that's a family mart right there. Uh, every location, there's chargers everywhere. So uh, absolutely no problem getting to Ito. Um, haven't gone far though because of the stupid light. It's so long here. 76% showing. Travel so far almost 140 kilometers already. Um, the temperature's still three quarters. Oh, look at that. Time to go. Let's get going. So there's the family mark. There's a charger right there. There's also a Nissan. There's going to be a charger there, too. Oh, I take it back. I thought the family mark had a charger. Ha! Ah, it's the Nissan. Duh. Nissan has a charger there. Awesome. So, we're on our way again. Talk more later.
Okie dokie. Check it out, guys. Let's see. Temperature hasn't changed. Has it? However, ah. Ah. it's doing well. Let's try again. <laughs> Look at that. Since I've gotten off the highway, we've gone up 1% actually. Traveled about 15, 16 kilometers since I got off the highway. Maybe a little, a little less than that. And uh, my range has completely changed. It's now showing 137 kilometers off of a 79% charge. And my charge went up. The reason why is because we've just been going steadily down. Alright, just steadily just going down, just a low, real low grade. It ha it's not like a steep hill or anything. Okay. Alright, I gotta turn here. Anyway, so yeah, just heads up or just a, you know, a heads up. Just a little checking in, let you guys see what's going on with our range. It's doing really well right now. Let's see if it stays that way. Be nice. That'd be nice. I want to get the battery temp down, but I've been doing so much regenerating. <laughs> Hasn't had a chance to cool down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. update time showing 133 on the gasometer well actually it's showing 140 on the gasometer traveled 25 since I charged it 79% <laughs> can you see that is that showing up 76% of the battery still <laughs> and the temperature is going up slowly we are up to uh, 29 degrees it's getting hot again as we go down we're closer to closer to um, you know sea level oh boy how you doing back there yeah it's hot she's hungry <laughs> but I'm not gonna eat out the whole point of this trip is to see if we can do a very inexpensive trip so what we have to do is we have to make our own dinner when we get there we'll make food or lunch late lunch or early dinner I don't know all right let's keep going
it is really sunny. My eyes are killing me. There's a Uniqlo here and they sell sunglasses and they're pretty decent sunglasses for $15. So 15 bucks and I can get some nice sunglasses. So I am going to get some sunglasses and I'm going to kind of cheat. My daughter is just driving me nuts. So next time I see a McDonald's, I'm going to pull in and let her eat something. Yeah, we're still going to cook something for tonight though. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this test is not working out. It's, it's kind of my fault. We started late in the day and everything. So nothing seems to be working out. My GoPro cameras overheated both of them and had trouble with the navigation system. <sighs> and then I took that boy way out of my way to a, diff to a location so we could you know, hitchhike a ride to Osaka. So anyways, See you soon with some sunglasses, hopefully.
We made it. We are at our location, Ito Spa. Ito, part of Japan, is a famous spa area because there's a lot of underground hot springs all over here. Pretty cool, right next to the beach too. It's beautiful, there's a little island out there. Uh, let's see if I can click this. The little island there, you see that island there? That's, you only get to it by boat or by helicopter. It's got a nice hotel out there. It's a really nice vacation area here. And this parking area, this this what they call Michinoeki, this place has a charger. But I don't need to use that charger. I can, there's actually a Nissan quick charger near here as well. I'll use that one because it's free. This one you have to pay. Not expensive, but it's going right over there for free. I'll use that. Anyways, uh, we went up a pretty steep mountain. Lost a lot of my good, uh, good numbers I was dealing with earlier. But I got back to 8.2 kilometers per kilowatt. I got down to five, something like that, going up the mountain. Uh, regained a lot of my battery I lost going up the mountain, coming down. I got a lot of region. That's the beauty. Of these, that's the beauty of these EVs, guys. That's the beauty of these EVs. You know, I used a lot of juice going up, but coming down, I regained a lot back. Battery temp still, it went down one bar, but I think if I turn the, the car off for a little while, it'll cool down one, one more bar pretty quick. Cause uh, yeah, I just, it's been doing a lot of region lately. So yeah, there you go. Um, what is that? Eight, seven, 14, carry the one. One forty. Huh? 144 is that look almost 145 that's not bad <laughs> that's awesome that is awesome and um at, from a 79 percent charge we did great 79 percent charge uh 58 kilometers ago and i'm still showing uh 58 percent charge more than enough for today to camp with more than enough for these are air conditioning tonight and, and cooking and stuff like that yeah i did i got my daughter um some McDonald's, so we kind of broke the rules, but we're still gonna cook tonight. I gotta go, go we have to do some go shopping soon. First things first though, first thing I wanna do is, before five o'clock, I wanna hit the foot bath. They have a natural hot spring foot bath for free on the back side of this building. Let's go, let's go check that out. <laughs> I see it. Yeah, we're here. Pretty nice, huh? It's really muggy here though. And you can smell the, Salty air. Almost five, which is actually a good time for walking around. The sun's not too intense. I think my daughter will have some fun walking around exploring this area. We never get to do that. Oh, it feels good after driving for a long time. It won't go up any higher, babe. It's these are tight, tight jeans. <laughs> won't go up any higher. You can see it. I wear short socks. My, you can see my feet are so white. My legs are kind of tan. That's funny. Ah. I want to it. Yeah, it's also sweat. I'm sweating. <laughs> All right. That feels good. Oh, this feels nice. Yeah, I like this. Feels good. I like this. Clean the camera at the same time. <laughs> Hello. We are all down with the feet water. Feet water. Feet <laughs> water. <laughs> Let's do foot bath. Foot bath. We're all done with the foot bath. Felt good. Rejuvenating my feet. Yeah. Now, so, uh, now we have to go grocery shopping actually. <laughs> we gotta find a grocery store and get some groceries for dinner tonight. Dinner. Yeah. We have a chicken soup. <laughs> That's all we have right now. We need to buy water though. We can't even make chicken soup without buying water. I'm down to 3,000 yen for the two of us for the rest of today and tomorrow. Yikes. Ah, uh, and I still have to get groceries. Well, See if we can do this. I think we can, and I think that it's gonna prove that I think I can do this trip this summer. I think so far the van's just doing wonderful. I charged how many times today? Two times on the quick charger. Um, really only need to do it one time to get here, but because I did such a huge detour taking that Osaka boy to um, a different uh, a different spot. What do you say? Service area. 
Um, so I had to charge up there, plus use the air conditioning for him. For he said he was he was dying, he was hot. And uh, so, yeah, this car is doing great. Let's see. I haven't had it off for, for more than like seven minutes, so I doubt if it's cooled down much. But let's just take a look, just in case. What's the outside temperature? It's showing 27 degrees centigrade. And uh, yeah, it's still kind of hot, but actually it's in its optimal, that's, that's considered the optimal operating temperature for the battery with Nissan. They, they like that. So let's see, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's only at eight bars and it starts at seven. For optimal temperature for operating conditions, seven bars is considered optimal. Seven to, uh, seven to nine, I think they say. I don't know, optimal, and after that it gets too hot. Below that's a little, little cool. Anyways, yeah, let's go look for a grocery store, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We're in luck. There is a Don Quixote right up, right next to this place. So I don't even have to, I don't have to drive anywhere. Don Quixote usually has a small grocery section, pretty expensive groceries there. And maybe I can pick up a cooler box too, since I bought those unrefrigerated drinks before we left. Awesome, Mega Donkey. Yeah, they'll definitely have a grocery store there. That's awesome. All right, we're at Mega Donkey now. There's cooler boxes right there. Don't know what they cost, but they're right there. Awesome. They got everything here. Camping materials. See? Everything. Charcoal. Fertilizer. Huh? See, this is perfect. This is all I need. That's pretty cheap. It's $6.98. No, this size. This size. That's too big. This size is perfect. $6.98 for that. That'll work fine. Work fine for what I need. Yeah, all done. Got the cooler box, ice, food, a little bit of breakfast material. <laughs> $25. Wouldn't have been so much if I didn't have to buy the cooler box or the ice, but yeah, do what you gotta do. It's hot. Um, I'm gonna make a nice steak meal. Uh, bought some cheap rice, pre made rice, and uh, some cheap meat, steak meat, marked down. And I'll make a nice little meal for us oh, for tonight. That should work. I got like eight dollars to my name right now. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can find my daughter. Beautiful view, though. Oh my gosh! Look at that, guys. Gorgeous spot to hang out at. Just realized I still forgot to buy the water. I need water. Before I can start cooking, I need to buy some water. Got the table set up, microwave and the cooker. And uh, yeah, we'll have that stuff in a box on top of the car tonight. Hopefully it won't rain, right? <laughs> we're in season, it could rain. I don't think it's supposed to rain tonight though, so we're probably okay. I forgot to show you uh, what we did so far on how many kilometers we covered on uh, this last charge. I, we did uh, 58 kilometers, but total trip is 192 kilometers, baby. 192 kilometers, very good, excellent. So uh, that's pretty good, o over 100 miles. Timber still staying the same. Okay, because no liquor cooling, but it's still looking good. Everything's looking good. 58% of the battery is more than enough. I can even use the air conditioning now if I want to. Uh, not right now though. Not right now. All right, I gotta go back out and get some water. Unbelievable. See, so I just bought some, a cheap little thing of uh, oil, olive oil. And then uh, got this really cheap for $3.73. A little bit of meat. Steak. Steak, cut steak. Uh, some rice and a drink and that'll do us and in the morning we have breakfast in the bread we have a I have some breakfast bring it over here camera over here oh. bring it over here Show me. so there's our pantry <laughs> our breakfast <laughs> pantry right there all our different breads pastry items in there so. this one okay I'm gonna turn it all the way up for now. Put some oil in the pan, in the pot. There we go. 
go. Some oil in the pot. Uh, I need my cooking utensils. Can you? Oh, I got it. I got it. I just need to use these. We have paper plates. Can you put the paper plates on the table, please? Okay. All right, about to add the meat. Hopefully it's hot enough by now. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds like it. It's a little bit brown. No? It's getting there. Might be a little too hot. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Good. Smells wonderful, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Pre seasoned cut steak. So well, I don't have to do any, I don't have to worry about seasoning because I'm not good at cooking. So, And I don't have my wife here to help out, so this is perfect. The only trick is I gotta keep it from splashing grease all over the place. Uh -huh. Yeah, splashing me. That hurts. Okay. Oh, nailed me. Right in the face. Mm, in the face. Can you put the plastic over that? Put the plastic bag here. Put this plastic bag right here. Yeah. Next time I'll cook outside. It isn't a good idea to cook this kind of food indoors. I'm making a mess. I'm gonna have a big mess to clean up when I get back home. Pretty much cooked. All right, now we have to cook the the rice. Rice, rice is uh, two minutes each, roughly, at 500 watts. So I'm gonna do uh, two of these at three minutes. Three minutes, four minutes. Huh? Four minutes. Oh, uh, four would be too long. How is it? It's uh, good. Chewing on it. A little chewy. Do I cook it too long? No, no it's steak. It's so steak. Cheap steak. <laughs> but it's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. And the rice is. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Almost done there. Starting to get dark out. So after I'm done eating, I gotta clean up and then get set up for uh, sleeping time. Get our beds made and stuff, put everything away, move stuff around. I don't know. Two people's kind of tight, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how this is going to work with three of us, two adults and her. Mm. This row of seats here is just really in the way behind me, this row behind me. I can't take them out though. Oh well, we'll see how it goes after I uh, clean up and get the beds made to see how that works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well we're, uh, we're getting ready for bed now. My daughter's watching TV and uh, we still have two mosquitoes. We killed one, we've got two to go. I can't sleep until I get the two killed. I don't want to get wake up a whole bunch of bug bites. Ah, oh, there's one right there on the window. I see it. Cool. Ah, I'll try to kill it right now. I don't know if I got it or not. No, I didn't. Flying around now. Julia, there's a mosquito flying around. Watch out. Uh, sneaky little bastards, aren't they? Hiding on the black windows. The light works good. Julia, what's the battery percentage at? Can you see? Fifty-eight percent? Really? Right. Wow, that makes no sense. Was, I thought it was 
Okay, we've been using a lot of battery and it's still at 58%, so doing good there. Oh, it's pretty comfortable. These air matches are working good. They work fine. So, uh, got the microwave on top of the left hand uh, passenger seat and uh, front passenger seat. And uh, yeah, got the air conditioners going super strong, trying to slow the mosquitoes down so we can catch them. Julia, there's one right by your head. Look up. Look up. Right there. Kill it. You missed it. It's right there. You missed it again. Okay. We're going to kill some mosquitoes right now. I'll talk to you later, guys. 2.25 in the morning. Slight change of plans, guys. Um, showing 35% uh, battery after using the inverter and the air conditioning pretty much all night. Uh, well, until 2.30, <laughs> almost. Um, woke up to pitter-patter rain. I knew there was a storm coming, but it's way early. And so I'm gonna go to the local family mart, which is really close to here. And I'm gonna charge up there as soon as I get a chance. This don't, seem, don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. Um, so I'm gonna charge up at the family mart which is a slower charger. So it's gonna take probably about full 30 minutes or longer to charge to 80%. In the meantime, I can also clean up the van, get ready to go. Um, can't stick around. Yeah, it's, we got a typhoon coming. Yeah, it's coming quick, quicker than, than they even expected. So yeah, change the plan slightly. No, uh, no sightseeing today. Bummer. Let's head back. I'll see you when I get to Family Mart. All right, we're all charged up. It's three o'clock in the morning. Showing 80% and 117 kilometers on the current charge. I am going to zero out the B and I'm gonna show you this. We went up one notch because I used the kind of slow charger. It took almost about 27 minutes to charge up. It was a little slower than normal, but it's much more gentle to the battery. So the temperature is still really low. Gonna zero all this stuff out. Start from scratch for the trip back. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Um, try to stay ahead of this typhoon. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. It's a good time to leave anyway. It's less traffic this way. All right, talk in soon later. Bye. Talk in soon later. Talk again later. Bye. Been driving for about an hour and a half. Showing 52% on the battery still. Travel 45.8 kilometers, almost six, 46 kilometers. Showing, let's just say 80, 80, 80, whatever, 82. If I put in eco mode, 82 kilometers. Out of eco mode, 78 kilometers. And uh, battery temp is holding steady, just fine. Uh, 55 kilometers an hour, roughly. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, average about 27%. That's pretty good. 27% of my power was from regenerative braking. Uh, yeah, regenerative braking. And holding at 8.6 kilometers per kilowatt hour. Excellent for the, for the mountains I'm going through. I'm going sea level, then up, and then back down. Sea level, then up, and back down. So... Drives your ears crazy, but it's great for a uh, range, really. Got lots of region. Um, seems great. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna charge up here because I this is where I always charge when I take my leaf over to Ito. And if I charge up here, I should be able to make it all the way home on this one charge, this last charge here. So awesome possum. Okay, I'll see you guys in a few. Well, that didn't take long. Already charged up. I'm not even doing my burrito. <laughs> uh Looks like 20 minutes. Yeah, about 20 minutes it took to charge up. That's pretty fast. Or it took 10 minutes to charge up. Uh, probably more like 10 minutes. It took 10 minutes to charge up. That makes sense. Finish my burrito. Let's take a look here. 80%. Battery temperature hasn't changed. Good. Gonna zero this out. Gonna zero that out. Did about an hour and a half driving. Zero that out, and zero that out, and also zero my B. Oh, okay.
All right. So far, we're staying ahead of the weather. Let's keep this up. See you again soon, guys. Um... to the halfway mark showing 86 kilometers to go um, 527 right now in the morning showing 62 percent on the battery only traveled 25.3 kilometers so far uh, 95 kilometers showing on the uh, gasometer battery temperature is holding at a good spot yeah, I've been driving for 45 minutes, roughly. Uh, showing 16% on the regenerative braking. That's not good. And 8 kilometers per kilowatt hour, which isn't too bad, actually. I'm going to charge here at this Nissan because, if you see, it says 86 kilometers and 95 there. <laughs> That's a little too tight. So I'm just going to get a little bit more juice, top it up to 80%, and that should do it. Hopefully. I mean, I do have to go through Tokyo. Mm, I'm pretty hilly over there, but I think this should do it. Oh, this should be really quick. All right. Six minutes and 13 seconds to get to 80%. That's nice and fast. So, uh, all ready to go. And when we get back inside the van, I'll check to see if that's going to be enough to get us all the way home. I think so. I think we're okay now. Car's filthy. Don't look at it. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm running on three hours of sleep. All right, let's take a look. Leave that alone. Probably will erase this and this and this. And oh heck, I'll erase them all. <laughs> hmm. All right. And zero is B out. 123. Oh, it's not showing right now. Have to get going. Um, I think it's gonna be enough. I think we'll be okay. We'll find out. 5:30 in the morning. 5:37 right now in the morning. Ugh, I don't even know where I am. I'm somewhere. Back this puppy up. Right into the store. Get myself a new car. Just kidding. 
tight here. Okay. Trying to hit the curve. Whatever the curve, not curve, but the block. Okay. Back on the road. Oh, it's 40 here. Alright. There we go. 86 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The two charges I've done so far has slowed me down a little bit. Now I'm saying I'll get home about 8.50 in the morning, which I don't even think that's going to be correct. We're, we're going to hit Tokyo traffic. Pretty bad traffic by the time I get there. So, even though it's a weekend. Today's Sunday, the 10th. <sighs> Typhoon right on my butt. 86 kilometers to go, showing 123 roughly on the gasometer. It's still tight because I have a feeling it's going to go down a little bit once I get going, but um, I think I can make it. <laughs> I think I can make it all the way. Battery temp is holding steady. Same spot as before, hasn't moved a bit. So good deal. This is good. This is really educational for me. Of course, it's only 21 degrees right now outside. It's not that warm right now. Today's not going to be warm like yesterday was. That's kind of a good thing, I guess. I guess. But that was good yesterday, too. I learned a lot yesterday doing that drive. That was fun. Yep. Okay. Talk more later. in Tokyo 7 a.m. perfectly 44 kilometers to go my destination says I'll be there by 8:33. I doubt that I'm going once you hit Tokyo you get nothing but lights I go about a kilometer and then I have to stop um, 
out of eco mode showing 73 kilometers of range and traveled almost 42 kilometers <clears throat> with eco mode 76 kilometers of range well, looks like my lens might be dirty sorry if my lens is dirty i, I apologize uh, my whole car is dirty right now um got a police car coming up gotta go Jack it up. All right, we're back. I was gonna record some more on the dash cam, but I got sidetracked, I'm sorry guys. Um, but yeah, we, we're back home. And uh, I just had to do some outdoor chores as soon as I got home. I've been driving since three o'clock in the morning, basically, and get home and I have to do uh, outdoor chores. It's just the way it is, the culture. Everybody was outside doing it, so I had to do it too. So anyways, let's look at the numbers. 20% showing, that's not bad. Uh, basically went 90 kilometers and showing 30 on the gasometer still. And let's scroll through here. Uh, battery temp is back to normal. Yeah, so it, it never really got that hot today. Uh, averaging 70 kilometers an hour because of the I was on the kind of the back I was on the back roads, but they were almost highway speeds. They were pretty good speeds. Um, like 90 and two two hours 51 minutes roughly almost three hours to get here from there um to do averaged uh i got three kilowatt hours of uh, electricity from my uh regenerative braking so 26 percent of my trip was uh 
through my brakes. And showing 8.5 kilometers a kilowatt hour. Total trip was 355.8. So let's just say 356. 356 kilometers total round trip. Awesome. I learned a lot. I learned that this van can totally, totally handle even the hot weather. It didn't, it didn't get too hot. As long as you take it easy and don't let it get too low. Uh, just like the new Leaf. <laughs> as long as you start charging about 30 to 30 or 40%, you're good to go. And, uh, yeah, and the camping, that, that part was a little tight for, I think it's going to be too tight for two adults and a child. Just my daughter and I, it was, it was a little tight. A little tight. It wasn't terrible, but it was a little tight because these, because this row of seats here, I, you know, they, I can't take them out. Okie doke. Um, I'm gonna start working on the video, and if I need to add something, I'll add it later. Hey guys, sorry about that ending. I was exhausted. <laughs> I was really tired. What a trip! But I'm so glad I did the trip. It was so educational. I really, really love the results. I love how it turned out. I am. I couldn't be happier with the van. Three years, man, three years. Come this August, three years I've had that van. That battery's doing great. Very little degradation, it looks like to me. The range hasn't changed much at all since I first got it. It, it really is doing great. Couldn't be happier, could not be happier. As a matter of fact, going by those speeds I was charging at when I was on the highway and stuff, like 15 minutes to even coming home with a couple, there's like 10 minutes and six minutes and stuff. I would have, I think I could do pretty well against the larger capacity battery cars because they take so long over here to charge because we have only those 50 kilowatt chargers right now. There aren't any really big superchargers, so the Teslas have to use the same chargers I'm using. I think I could beat them. And I know I can because I did with the Leaf, and I, this car is not much, the range is pretty good on this van as well. So I think I could get to the same destination as those bigger uh, capacity cars um, if they don't charge, okay? If they don't have to charge, I'm screwed. <laughs> but if they have to charge once or twice, I think I can keep up with them. I, I won't be very far behind. So I'm really happy with the, the results of that car. Doing great. And what this plan, is, what this helps me is, is I'm planning a, a big trip this summer vacation. I'm trying to iron it out, trying to work out the details. My wife is putting up a lot of resistance because she doesn't want to take too much time off because, um, you know, for obvious reasons, we need the money, so she does need to work. But I would like her to come with us, so I can't do like a two-week trip, obviously. So I've got to figure out what we're gonna, where we're going to go still. But I'll probably do, since it's going to be such a long trip, I'll probably do a daily vlog and just shoot out. If, if I have Wi-Fi available, I'll shoot a, a video up to YouTube uh, on a daily basis if possible, okay? That's how I'm gonna do it, I think. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video uh, and give me a please, give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, you can hit the other button, but don't make me sad, no, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> and also subscribe, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, I'm at 2,021 subscribers. I'd love to get that number higher if you could help me. Thank you guys, oh, and one more thing, <sighs> I was gonna say at the beginning, I forgot. I couldn't, this video would not have been possible without the help I got from my patrons. Thank you so much to all my patrons for, or patrons to my Patreon page. Thank you so much for uh, doing what you did and donating what you could and helping me out, helping my channel out. Really big thanks. And that's, that's helping us with our summer trip as well. So really, thanks a lot, guys. I will see you again soon. Bye.